Hello YouTube, I am presenting you my new SMD Phoenix CNC controller. Yes guys, this is my new CNC controller. Sorry that the light is uh, creating a shadow. This is my new CNC controller. Did I say it new? Yes. It is based on my previous one, but this one is made with, uh, as you can see, mostly SMD parts. Of course, I still have to use a USB input socket, and I decided to use the screw connectors also, because they give the best connectivity. And let me show you the PCB real quick. Sorry about that. Here it is. This one is, as you see, yellow. And I did want to try something new. I'm not quite sure if I keep it in yellow or if I go back to white. So if you have any comments or ideas, please do let me know. These will go on sale, or they are already on sale, I changed the ad. And uh, the first ones I got will be yellow, and I might switch to white again, or I might keep them like this. I kind of like it, how it's transparent. It's not like a regular white PCB that you cannot see through. But these you can. It would make a nice uh, case mod, I guess, if you you could light it up from the back too. So anyhow, this is exactly the same. I s the only change the top part is the same as before. The bottom part I added the power connector to the bottom, so I don't have anything on the side just the top and the bottom and it's still uh, usable with my driver board here I didn't put the drivers in actually on here I was supposed to do that and this one connects like this as you can see it looks kind of funny now with the yellow and the white but like I said, I'm not sure if I keep the yellow or switch to white or maybe make these in yellow. That would be another possibility. I might even consider making a two-in-one with the controllers together with the CNC. And then these ports would... Actually, these will not. These are the inputs for the reset switch, hold and uh, resume switch and uh, but this connector would be eliminated and you have the four outputs for the stepper motors but anyhow this is about the CNC controller now it has a MOSFET for the 12 volt relay and a read relay for the enable the spindle enable and now it's a uh, noiseless before you did hear the clicking of the relays not that I think that it bothered anyone but anyhow this is all SMD now and I did this also so I can use it with my yeah, this upcoming pick and place machine I'm still waiting on some parts but that will help me to work more efficient of course I did reflow this in my super expensive toaster oven and it makes my life much much easier the true hole parts of course I do solder by hand and I can show you the back how my solder points joints how you wanna call them do look like and I think I do a pretty good job 
that. I have enough experience with that, believe me. So these are the heat sinks for the MOSFET and the voltage regulator. This runs on 12 up to 24 volts. You can switch between 12 and uh, over 12 here. You have a reset button. You can re-upload the Gerbil code if you need to or if you want to upgrade or downgrade. And this is the switch for the fourth slave axis to the Y axis. And it has of course the output LEDs. And these are the RX and TX LEDs and this is the power LED. Which is pretty bright. I need to tone it down a little bit by increasing the resistor. Uh, this is just the intro video without it being running. I will connect it to this and connect actually some steppers from the uh, half-finished PNP machine, pick and place machine and show it <coughs> excuse me, show it to you moving and working also. Like I said I did update my Tindy page with this one and you can get it over there link is in the description i did make a updated wiring diagram which is here you can download this on my tindy page and i will of course ship a printed version like this with your order because you might not have your pc where you install the controller so paper might come in handy and uh, anyhow you can see all the connections it has of course uh, pulse width modulation output for your VFD VFD and you can adjust the output of the signal from 0 to 5 volt up to 0 to 10 volt because most uh, VFD, 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 VFDs uh, use 0 to 10 volt inputs and you can connect it there and um, adjust the speed of your spindle with the G-code so anyhow this is included when you order it and this is again my super tiny CNC controller the new one thanks for watching take care everybody